Country Insights, Cuba, City and Village Life. Introducing Cuba. The Republic of Cuba is made up of Cuba, the Island of Youth, and more than 1,600 islets and Cays. The island of Cuba is the largest island in the Caribbean and is part of the Greater Antilles. Cuba's closest neighbors are the islands of the Bahamas, Haiti, and Jamaica. Key West, the most southerly point of the United States, is just 92 miles to the north. Spanish settlers arrived in Cuba in the 16th century, and for over 350 years, the country was a Spanish colony. Cuba became independent in 1902, breaking away from Spain to govern itself. In 1959, after a revolution, the dictator, Fulgenico Bastilla, was overthrown. The revolutionaries were led by Fidel Castro, known as El Comandante. After the revolution, Cuba became a communist state, with help from the communist-controlled USSR. Fidel Castro seized all the US-owned businesses and put them under the control of the government. The United States reacted in 1961, when it banned all trade between itself and Cuba. However, this ban is no longer in place. Cuba received a great deal of financial and technical help from the USSR. However, this help stopped after the collapse of the USSR communist government in 1989. Cuba also lost its main trading partner because it used to swap sugar for oil and machinery from the USSR. As a result, Cuba's economy was devastated. In 1990, Fidel Castro introduced the Special Period. This is a survival plan in which everyone is allowed only a certain amount of essential food and other items each month. Every family has a ration book in which their purchases are recorded. The Special Period has meant great hardship for Cubans. Havana, capital city. Havana is Cuba's capital, its largest city and main port. It is also the country's political and cultural center. Founded in 1514, the city grew as a result of the annual shipping expeditions carrying treasure and goods from the, Spain the Spanish colonies to Spain. Many fortresses were built to protect Havana against pirates, but these did not prevent the English from capturing the city in 1762. When Havana was returned to the Spaniards in 1763, they built walls around the area now known as Old Havana. Old Havana contains the cathedral and the Plaza de Armas, Havana's oldest square. Also in Old Havana is the Palace of the Captain, Captain's General. This is now a museum, but was the home of the Spanish governors until 1902. In the late 19th century, the walls were demolished as new suburbs developed with fine mansions, new villas, and public buildings. Early in the 20th century, Havana became popular as a city where people came for vacations and to gamble. Many American businesses invested large sums of money in hotels, club nights, hotels, nightclubs, and casinos. Since the revolution, however, Havana has been neglected. There is no money for new buildings or maintenance, and many of fine mansions are now in a state of decay.